flashback uh, 1982 from Bobs and Globs to concert halls. Uh, Graham Parker, longtime XRT fave and always a worthy songwriter uh, and performer. Uh, the Rage was still there, but more in mid-tempo songs. And for the first time, without the longtime backing band, The Rumor, from another Each is only time will tell, taking a name from the Earth's largest and most uh, populous continent, these four veteran progressive rock musicians uh, were thinking small. And their debut was uh, huge right from the start. English Beat with I Confess, their third album, Special Beat Service, uh, more popular in Britain than the U.S. with their first two albums. Uh, moved them away from ska and reggae, more towards pop, uh, hard to beat the sweet can. Yeah, heard from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, the record uh, Long After Dark, it was album number three, number five, excuse me, uh, released in 82, was the first to feature new bass player Howie Klein. Uh, did I say Howie Klein? Howie Epstein. Uh, who uh, added a terrific background vocal presence to the group from that point forward. And missing together, they uh, released Spring Session M, and that'll take you back. Destination Unknown, flashback 1982. The year that the following uh, checked out for good, uh, Lightnin Hopkins, Thelonious Monk, uh, Ingrid Bergman, Grace Kelly, Jack Webb, Henry Fonda, but most painful of all to us here in Chicago was John Belushi, who died that year. Flashback. We'll hear uh, the regular guys take on E.T. coming up and uh, some Elvis Costello. I'm John Webb.